First polish I'm going to be sharing is Essie Lust for Life. This was from their Essie plant-based collection. I actually did a whole swatch review video on my channel for that. The reason why I love this polish so much is because it's just a really good standard red polish that I actually got a ton of use out of for Valentine's Day. This would also be a really good red for Memorial Day for 4th of July. Basically, any time of year when you need a really good standard red nail polish, I would highly recommend this one. And it's actually perfectly opaque in two coats, which is even better as apparently some reds can be sheer. So the second polish is Essie uh, Playing in Paradise from the same collection. And I use this a ton for like my spring nails. I use this a lot in my Easter nails just because it's a really, really good light purple, like a lilac purple as I like to call it. And it is gorgeous in two coats. This is one of those polishes that I've marbled. I have done pretty much everything with and I love it. Definitely have gotten a ton of use out of this one color. All right, next up is Essie Mint Candy Apple. And this is a really beautiful, more of like a blue-toned mint green. And I have used this a lot for spring nails, but also for like the base to like marble, water decals, things like that. I also love to use this polish for like a back like a backdrop to cherry nails absolutely gorgeous. I've had this polish in my collection or multiple bottles of this polish, I should say for years because I absolutely love this. It is absolutely beautiful. This is also a color that I wear a lot on my toes because it's just so beautiful. So next up is Essie Blanc and this is just a standard white nail polish. I use white nail polish a ton, whether it's for detail work or it's for stamping or it's for the background of something. I always, always have multiple bottles of white nail polish in my collection just because I use it a ton. Next up is Zoya Wyatt, and I use this polish a lot for my St. Patrick's Day nails. This actually quickly became one of my all-time favorite green nail polishes. It's like an emerald green color, but it has no shimmer, no pearl, no glitter finish. It does not dry down matte. The only thing I would say about this polish that I wasn't thrilled with was I do feel like this polish had a uh, thicker formula, but I absolutely love this color. And this is a color that I wear when I want just like a really good like green accent. <laughs> Next up is Lillian. And this is a polish that I use a ton. I use this for backdrops to nail art. Okay. I am fully aware that this polish bottle needs to be cleaned. I have not gotten around to doing that yet, but I am fully aware of that. So this polish, I use a lot for backdrops. So next up is a really good black polish. This is Zoya Willa. And I love this polish because I use it for stamping. Next up is Purity from Zoya. This is also a really good uh, white nail polish. Again, like I said, I have multiple bottles of black and white polish in my collection for backups. Next up is Storm. And I actually got this recently for summer nails and for galaxy nails. I actually use this um, in some designs. I really like this. I actually use this as the background for my solar eclipse nails. I really like this color. It has like a beautiful night sky look to it. Next up is Zoya Emerson, and this is fairly new to my collection, but this is a polish that I have been getting a ton of use out of for like my Easter nails, my spring nails, but this is also one of those polishes that is just so beautiful on its own, and I've used this a lot lately, and I'm absolutely loving it. Like I said, I will do my best to have everything linked below. Next up is Dallas, and Dallas is just a really good silver glitter polish. This is one of those polishes that I use a lot when I just want a hint of sparkle, but I don't want something over the top. All right, next up is Orly Sea Blossom, and I'm not going to show what the actual inside of the bottle looks like just because I felt like the video was getting a little bit too long. This was from the Orly 2024 Spring Collection. I love this. It's a really pretty light pink. I have used this a lot for nail art as well as like backdrops to nail art. Absolutely gorgeous. Next up is Vintage. This was actually a viewer uh, recommendation of mine and I'm so happy that I got this recommendation because this is one of my all-time favorite polishes now. This does take three coats but it is 100% worth it. 
All right, and last up is just for top coats. I use the Zoya Matte Top Coat a lot, as well as the SE Gel Setter. This one does have a thicker formula, so just be prepared for that. And one of my all-time favorite top coats that I use specifically for filming is the SE Speed Setter. All of these I love to use on myself, but I also really like to use them for when I am filming nail art videos, as well as uh, YouTube Shorts, because I have specific top coats that I use for that purpose. And that's it.